Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I finally gave in and I subscribed to BoxyCharm. There were a couple reasons why I was holding out. I'll get into those at some other point. Let's just get into unboxing this. So I did not know that the way BoxyCharm worked was you could get a mixture of five products from a selection of like 15 different products. I will put the possible products you could have gotten in this box here or somewhere, maybe over my face. I don't know, they will be on the screen, you'll see them. And you can pause to do a little recap if you want to be reminded or if you didn't know at all, you can check it out. So this is it. I am so excited to see what I got. This is the January 2021 box. They also have Boxy Premium and Boxy Lux. This is the base box, the cheapest box, $25 a month. Free shipping, which I was pleasantly surprised to learn. So I am going to do a little bit of ex an experiment with my boxy charm, I'm gonna be subscribed for a year and I'm going to establish a scoring system to see if it was worth it or not for me. So stay tuned to my boxy charm unboxings to learn about how I'm going to track if it was worth it or not. So this is it, the big reveal. This is the inside. Okay, here we go. I'm already seeing I didn't get what I wanted. Okay, so my free gift for signing up is the LMS Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask. So this was a free gift for signing up. So this is the sixth item in the box. And then here is the little card with information on every product that's in here. And I got the Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner. So this is like an astringent. And I was hoping for this. We were going to get one of two pharmacy products, either this one or I believe it was a mattifying moisturizer. So I have dry skin. Mattifying is for oily, so it makes sense that they sent me this. So I'm excited about this one. This is what I wanted. That was the battle of my life to try to get the box open. But I did get it open because so I want to show you what it looks like. So it's really, really nice. This is a glass bottle. I am excited for this one. And it says this is a $28 value and alcohol free 2% BHA toner that gently exfoliates, deep cleans pores, and controls oil without overstripping skin. Ideal for combination oily or acne prone skin. So I have dry skin. Either one of the pharmacy products weren't a perfect match for my skin type, but this one is the better match. So that's good. I do use astringents. And then I'm not excited for this one. This is one of the reasons that I did have reservations about subscribing to BoxyCharm. It's because not all of the products in the boxes are cruelty free. Dr. Brandt is not cruelty free, but this is their Dr. Brandt Do Not Age Triple Peptide Eye Cream. And what does this say about it? It says it's an $82 value. This deeply hydrating peptide powered cream helps diminish all signs of aging around the delicate eye area, including lines, wrinkles, dark circles, and puffiness for refreshed, younger looking eyes for all skin types. So We'll see if I end up using that. Then the next thing I got, and they had two lip balms and I wanted the other one. And this feels like it's empty. No, it's not empty. Thank goodness. Okay, so this is the Bali Balm Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm. So they had a different lip balm available that had better reviews. And I wanted that one because it had better reviews. And this one says it's a $33 value. It's quite a price on a lip balm. Essential oils of sweet orange and coconut give this lip balm its citrusy, tropical aroma, and silky smooth consistency. Consistency. Sweet orange is packed with vitamin C, which is known to even skin tone and protect against free radicals. Forgot to breathe. Coconut is a natural emollient that moisturizes for soft, supple lips. I do want to learn a little bit more about this brand because it does have something on the side that says, thank you for helping us hashtag kiss the planet. And it says kisstheplanet.org. So the prospect of that being planet friendly and animal friendly does help with the fact that there's a Dr. Brandt product in here. And then the next thing I got is the Laura Geller High Def Glow Illuminator Duo in Heart, Heart of Gold. And this is what it looks like. It says that this is a $33 value. The little plastic thing fell, but that's what it looks like. I'm not gonna swatch this because I just don't know if I'll use it and it might go in a giveaway. I'm already kind of feeling like this box at least is going to get a low score on my scoring system that I'm going to use over the course of 2021. And then the last thing I got is the Ciate London Velvet Eyeshadow Palette. Ooh, this has that nice rubberized feel to the box. <laughs> it's a fancy box. And it says that this is a $30 value. And this also has a nice rubberized feel. This looks super pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. 
So it retails for $30 and the description says, create molten metal and matte looks with this palette. Let's open it. So that's what it looks like. So that's pretty. Featuring a mix of hypermetallics, soft shimmers, and velvety smooth matte. The innovative powder formulation delivers high pigment with super soft application. So those are pretty colors. I'm not thrilled with what I got. I wanted some very different things and we'll see how much I use these things. So what I'm gonna do for my scoring system is every month I will unbox box my box in my videos and then after that I will go over the previous month's box so if you're interested you can stick around and watch that and I will talk about what products I actually ended up using and which products I did not and I will give my box a score of one or two or three out of five depending on how many products I actually put to use out of the previous month's box and then I will tally that up after 12 months and I will give my box a rating to see if it was worth it for me to be subscribed to BoxyCharm. And now for my add-ons. I got the Amica Vandal Volume Powder Spray and it looks like this. I recently discovered that I am interested in trying volumizing products so I wanted to try this one. I already did try it on my roots and it's one of those volumizers, texturizers that makes your hair feel really dirty which drives me nuts. So I barely sprayed any on my hair and I just wasn't into it because I don't like the feeling of product in my hair. This is probably gonna go on a giveaway. And then I have been wanting to try out different powders and foundations. I'm kind of on a kick where I want to figure that out for myself because I never really wore a foundation. I'm not wearing foundation right now, but it's something that I'm interested in, especially if I can do it right and make it feel good and look good and all of that. So I am exploring powders as well because they kind of go a little hand in hand. So I got the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. So this is what that looks like. So it's very illuminating. It's almost like a highlighter. Let's go ahead and swatch this one. That is pretty. That is almost like a highlighter. And then I have been wanting to try stuff from Fenty, just in general. Just want to try stuff from Riri, Bad Girl Riri. I follow her on Instagram and her name's Bad Girl Riri. So this is the box, oops. So this is the box and what is it? What is this even, you ask? It's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And this was in the Boxy Lux for this month, but I went ahead and purchased it. Mine is in the shade Butter and it looks like this. So Fenty-like. I've just really been wanting to try Fenty Beauty in general. The thing about loose powders that kind of drives me nuts is that it's all messy. But anyway, I will try this in a get ready with me or something like that and let you know what I think. And then the last add-on I got is the Viseart 12 Shade Professional Eyeshadow Palette. And this one's just really highly recommended. It is like $80 retail and I got it for $12 in the sale. I was also really drawn to it because I'm feeling mattes lately. There's just so much highlighter and shimmer everywhere that I'm feeling like I just want to be matte and not shimmery. So these are the colors super everyday. Let's see how one swatches. Let's take a dark one. Let's take this dark brown one and see how it swatches. Not the greatest first impression swatch, but I find that swatching like that isn't always the best way to determine if something is going to perform. I will let you know in a future product review what I think of this palette. I've heard great things, so I am still very much looking forward to playing with it. And then that is it. That's everything I got from the January 2021 BoxyCharm box and sale. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and introduce yourself in the comments below. I would love that. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.